Hi, we are here at Samsung's 2024 CES stand, and I can tell you this is one of the biggest stands in the entire show. Samsung has it packed with people, as you can see. But don't worry, we'll be taking you on a private tour of what's happening, and I can tell you that AI will be a big part of it. to TV, Samsung has a new AI next generation processor for its 8K TVs. And these do something really incredible, is that they take low quality footage and make them look fantastic. And I've never seen anything quite as good as this. So this demo here shows on one side uh, with AI picture quality off, so this might be a low res 720p image. And over here on the other side, it's upscaling it. And it uses AI's neural networks to make sure that the picture looks better and sharper than ever. Also, when it comes to motion, I can switch the demo up here. And when you have sport, when you have a ball that moves very quickly, there's often this uh, sort of effect where the ball looks like it kind of stutters or breaks up when it moves across the screen. But with the motion enhancing technology, the ball actually moves completely smoothly with no juddering or sort of interruptions to where the ball kind of looks as it's going in a fast direction. So really what you're getting is a fantastic upscaled picture taking lower quality content and making it much better to really suit a high quality 8K screen. Wow, the picture on that is just amazing. So we're seeing a lot of micro LED samples here at the Samsung stand. So for those who don't know, micro LED is sort of the next generation TV panel. So it's not really sold uh, many places right now, although you can buy it, but it's really gonna be coming out more and more over the next few years. So micro LED really gets rid of some of the challenges with current display panels. It has very, very bright colors, but also beautiful blacks. And you can see it from just about every, every angle. So it really does look great. And it's available in screen sizes up to 140 inches. So it can be really big, but also it comes in a lot of other screen sizes, which I haven't seen in years before. So micro LED is definitely a technology to watch. All right, I'm so amazed by this technology. So this is Samsung's transparent micro LED technology. So what it is, is it's a screen that you can actually watch, but see through. So there isn't a black layer. There's actually enough transparency to let light through. It's great for things like, say, a commercial application, like a shop or a, a window that you want to be able to let light through, but still have things on it. So it's not really made for living rooms, not yet. Technology really isn't quite there for that, but it really is a great demonstration of where things are going and the really cool things that we might see in our homes one of these days. Wow. So micro LED is actually made of inorganic materials. These are tiny little grains of sand. They're so small that you need a microscope to see them. But one of the benefits is that they have a much longer lifespan than traditional TV technologies, up to 100,000 hours, which will really mean that your panel will stay brighter for longer. Follow me, I'll show you one of my favorite features of the uh, Samsung stand. So this is the... Uh, this is the music frame. So what this is, is this is a picture frame with a speaker hidden inside of it. Um, the idea is you can put this anywhere in your home. Uh, you can actually pick the artwork that you want. There's some pretty cool ones here as examples. And then it will wirelessly beam music, say from your phone to the speaker, and it will play and fill up your space with sound. Also, imagine this, um, say, where you have your TV. You don't want to use a sound bar. You don't like the look of it or whatever. You can have two of these pictures on either side of your TV and then that will act as a soundbar instead of actually having one. So not only do they look great, they'll sound great too. Wow, I am so excited about the new Samsung Premier 8K projector. That thing is huge. And of course, it's now 8K, which means so much detail. But you're going to need that detail because the screen can be up to 150 inches. And it's incredibly bright as well. It's over 4,000 lumens, and you really need that kind of brightness to manage a screen this size. But I've also seen some really cool tech in it that I really haven't seen before in a projector. One of them is the One Connect box is completely wireless. So this is a little box where you plug in all of the cables, and then this transmits all the information wirelessly to the projector itself. And what that means is that you don't have to mess around with any cables. There's no fuss running one thing to the other. And the two boxes can be completely separate from one another. 
I really like the sound too. This has got a uh, Dolby Atmos sound system in it, and it really has like over 100 watts of sound power to really punch that sound and really give you that immersive experience. So really cool technology. It looks great. And even the packaging itself, even the way it has a wood grain finish, I think it's really stylish and really premium. So I'm excited about watching something on this one, that's for sure. So this is gonna revolutionize the modern kitchen. So this is Samsung's new AI Family Hub Plus. And what it does is it actually has the ability to help you manage your inventory of food inside using artificial intelligence. So first off, it's got a gigantic screen here and you can do all kinds of things from this. You can have a calendar, you can look into your security camera to see who's at the front door, you can watch YouTube videos. But this is a really cool thing. Check this out. So, this will give me an inventory of what's inside my fridge. And if I open my refrigerator door, it will actually track what I put in and what I take out using a special camera that's just up here. So if I take a tomato out, you'll see that the tomato disappeared from the inventory here. If I put it back in, it reappears there. So it will track the food that I have inside and it'll even let me view the food that I have inside with the camera on my smartphone using the SmartThings app. So also with this, it will actually date the products that you put inside, meaning that it will know, for example, that you put your tomato in seven days ago. And if you really don't have any ideas about what you wanna cook, you can actually go to a recipe based on the food that you have inside and it will tell you types of foods that you can cook with your recipes and if you're missing items, it will even send those missing items to a shopping list. So this is a great new technology using artificial intelligence to help you manage what you have in your fridge and using the Samsung Food app, it'll also help you manage what you wanna cook for dinner, what you need and what you have. So yeah, I think it'll just make you know, dinner times a lot easier. Keep in mind that you can use your voice to control the fridge using Samsung's Bixby, just in case your hands are dirty when you're doing the cooking. What I have here is Samsung's Bespoke Jet AI Combo Robotic Vacuum Cleaning System. So this is a combo because it's both a robot vacuum cleaner and a mop. But in terms of the mop, it's got a lot of special technology going on. First off, it uses one of those spinning mop brush heads. Now these are much better at cleaning uh, hardwood floors, tiled floors. It really gets in there and can actually scrub. But the challenge with spinning mops, or mops in general, is that they get quite dirty and they can get moldy and smell bad. However, this has a system where when the mop is actually finished being used, it can actually go into this system here and it will use steam to thoroughly clean it so it doesn't smell and it kills all the germs. Also, the robot vacuum can leave the mop heads behind to go out and vacuum your carpet so it doesn't get you know, your carpets wet using a, with the mop heads sort of in the way. And actually the vacuum itself uses all kinds of Samsung technologies. It's got LiDAR for scanning, it uses AI mapping, it uses AI to detect objects in your space. So the idea is that it can go around your house, avoid what it should avoid, knows where it's supposed to go, knows where it can go to get back to its little charging station. So you can pretty much just press the button and forget it, it will clean your carpets, your hardwood floors and your tiles, come back, clean itself and there you go. So when it comes to lovable robots, you have to see Ball E. So this is enhanced from 2020 by adding AI to Samsung's little robot companion. So this ball rolls around the house. It'll come to the front door and greet you, which I think is really nice. But it now uses AI to figure out the types of things that you might want from it. And it can even control other devices around the house as well. It has two projectors built into it, which is a way for it to project information that you want to see. Say you might want to watch a video or you might want to have some information about, say, your, one of your other smart things devices and it can project that either via its short throw projector which is right up close or a long projector which would put a big image say on a wall when you want to watch something so it's a really clever idea and it's nice to see this evolving using AI lots of action going on in Samsung's gaming section on the stand so what we're really seeing here is a real commitment to Samsung's gaming hub so this is a way of playing console quality games Xbox games and PC games right from your TV without actually having to own a gaming console. You can also use Samsung's freestyle projector to take your gaming out of the traditional living room environment. Plus we're seeing great things on Samsung's TVs with Samsung's gaming bar, which is a great way of getting all of your gaming information, frames per second, different gaming modes at a glance. And Samsung's Odyssey Neo monitors, both their OLED and QLED ones, are super wide and absolutely fantastic for bringing in that gaming realism. 
<laughs> All right, that's very cool. So this is a demonstration of Samsung's 3D gaming experience. And what it is, is a 3D monitor, and I'm playing a game with really cool realism and immersion. And what it actually does is it actually has two cameras up here that measures where my face is and it tracks my eyes to create a sweet spot where I need to be and to compensate the image so I get the best effect. So this isn't actually a finished product. Uh, there's no word on when it's coming out, but it's really fun to try it out. And I think it looks really great. I better stop playing. Look, this is my favorite place to end a stand tour in the gaming section, having a bit of fun. But look, I think to summarize what we've seen here in the Samsung stand for 2024 is a firm commitment to AI. And we're seeing how that is enhancing things like picture quality on its latest range of QLED TVs. And also how the Smart Things platform is really getting smarter using AI to help you get more out of your Smart Things connected devices. So anyway, this is a glimpse of Samsung's stuff to come this year, and I'm gonna get back to my game.